about three miles. How are you feeling? My hands are sweating out of the excitement and uh, nervousness. Just the not knowing is making me so nervous. Your destination is on the left. I can see some animals up ahead. There she is. Her legs out of the way? Oh yeah, she's okay. in. That was Perfect. fairly simple. Today is a super exciting day. We are road tripping down to Southern Utah, and not only are we gonna hopefully buy the coolest animal we've ever seen for sale on Craigslist, but hopefully it's gonna be the start of our dream business together. So we're super excited. We're heading south today. We got the dogs in the back seat, and uh, we'll see if we come home with a special animal. We don't know what's happening. <laughs> Yeti, are you gonna put up with that? Oh, oh my gosh. What are you doing? Are you comfy? Good boy. <laughs> Yep. Back in action. On the road again. <laughs> I need to fix our wiring on our pickup. So every once in a while, our lights uh, go out on us, but back on the road. Oh, we made it another 20 miles and our lights are out again. Not going, huh? They're flickering. Okay. Oh, another one. Darn thing, we gotta get that fixed. What do you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Breakfast of champion. Yeah, yeah. Gotta be careful and rational to frost it. They didn't give me enough. <laughs> <laughs> you want some? What do you have to say for yourself? This camera angle is very flattering. It's like Yeti gets. Oh, Yeti. Oh, Get it, Yeti. Get it. Good girl. Alright, now you're just looking at them. Good girl. Great day for a road trip. I can't wait to see her though. This is gonna be awesome. Amazing. <laughs> we are 12 miles out. About to see what we just drove eight hours for. Be there in just a minute. My hands are sweating. I'm so nervous right now. So nervous. <laughs> I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? No. Nope. Really? Yeah. Are you, are you too tired because you stayed awake all last night? Yeah, I was too excited to sleep, so I got like two hours of sleep. And uh, I'm excited. I'm uh, trying not to get my hopes up. I think that's probably why I'm just like, well, whatever. If we like it, we like it. If we don't, you know. Nothing lost except for one full day of driving. Yeah, exactly. So, what do you think if 10 out of 10 means we get her for sure? Zero out of ten means we don't go home with her. What do you think? Do you think we'll get her or not? Eight. Scale of zero to ten. Eight out of ten. Eight, you think we'll get her? Yeah. What about you? I feel like a nine. Nine? Yeah. Yeah. It's like... We didn't drive all this way to not get her, so right. it would be a surprise if she doesn't turn out to be what we're thinking she is. Yeah, exactly. So, fingers <laughs> crossed. Fingers crossed and... I need more caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got three miles. How are you feeling? My hands are sweating. <laughs> oh, 
out of excitement and uh, nervousness. Only three miles. Did oh you give gosh. us any instructions about no. where to pull in or anything? It'll be obvious. No, I think around the back side of the house. And then it in 1,000 feet, like your destination will be on the left. All the pins and fields and stuff are down from there. Your destination is on the left. Mm -hmm. What's the address? There she is! Alright, we're gonna show you guys what we came here to get. Oh, mama. Here's your mom. And over here, we have our new baby! Just hold it. We can just I can probably hold. push her down here. I can yeah, hold I mean, it you too. Can just push her right down and then just here. open that gate and that green gate. Yeah, I'll just hold it. Come awesome. straight down, off down there, hold it. You can do that. Hold it out of the door. Give me a long ride. Yeah, well, especially being loose in there. Hey, girly. There you go. Maybe that open as far as we'll go. All right, baby. Hi. Go on in. Good girl. There you go. Bye, mama. Yeah. You can shut this one. There you go. Come on. Yeah, that might work. Just stay out of a. Yeah, exactly. He's got a flag. There we go. Get above her and yep. girl. That'll be your new favorite play. There used to be a gate there, but my sister's kids stole nope. it. Can't run through me. Sorry. Oops. Easy. Oh, that might work. Your legs out of the way? Oh yeah, she's okay. in. That was perfect. Fairly simple. Actually worked good that the door <laughs> shut. <laughs> Bumped her. She's like, oh. Door come over, bumped her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jamie. Come on, <laughs> Got a flashy baby in the trailer. She loaded well. She did good. I like how she is mentally. I feel like she really, she's tuned in but not overreact. I think she'll be a good one. I think she will too. I think she should get pretty big. She's she's only 15 months old, so. Her mom is big. Yeah, her mom's like good height, probably 15 hands, real sturdy, big old yeah. bone. Her dad's big boned. He might be a little shorter than her mom. I wish her dad but, was here. That would have been fun to see him in, in person. Yeah. Yeah, he looked like a big old stocky big bone jack, so pretty cool. What do you think, Eddie? You got a new sister? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Heading back north. Heading back. Eight hours to go. Yeah. Eight yeah. hours down, about 45 minutes there, and now eight hours back. Nice. And we'll call her a great day. Hopefully. Getting some fuel. Let's go have a check on her.
How's she doing? Not terrible. Yeah. Good girl. Last stop. Next time we stop, we'll be home unloading our new mule. Yep. Which is exciting. And you know what else is exciting? Root beer flow. <laughs> 7.39. Oh man, I'm delirious. This has been <sighs> a long, awesome day. Very awesome day. Some less than ideal road conditions, but we got a mule and we are almost home and she seems really sweet. The more oh, man, I yeah. hang out with her back there, the sweeter she seems. the trailer over gonna open up these panels we're gonna let this girl out of the trailer it's been a long long day for her so see how these guys do I'll be able to kind of visit through the panel but uh, hopefully as long as they're not kicking at each other everything should be good to go so She's in here. Cedar's like, what in the world? What do you think, Riata? She's as flashy as you are. All right, well, we got her home. She's out there. We got her two buckets of water, a couple flakes of hay, and she's settling in. She looks super calm. 
So we're going to call that the end of awesome day. Tomorrow we'll come out, get some good footage of her, spend a bunch of time with her, probably all day with her tomorrow, and uh, get some good footage and show you guys what we got outside of the trailer and in the daylight. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. You drank the water? That's so good. Come on, you Well, it was a long day yesterday, but we made it back and uh, got a little bit of sleep. I kept waking up and having to check on this girl here. So um, she did good though throughout the night. No stomach problems or anything and everyone seems like they're getting along really well today. So we got breakfast to these guys. We're gonna feed her. It looks like she drank about half a bucket of water, which is a great sign. We were a little worried about her drinking. So um, she's settling in great. So anyway, we're gonna go feed her and uh, be kind of our first little session working with her and, and uh, yeah I'm excited to, to really start working with her every day so she's sure a cute little thing. Cold enough to ice up her bucket. There you go. There you go. little molly meal is basically untouched. Um, it sounds like they worked with their son when she was just a little baby yeah. and uh, her first halter breaking was a little rough and they had her bleeding a little bit as a weanling and then just turned her back out so um, it's been several months since she's really been handled at this point and so the main goal is just to get her to where she's realizing we're not gonna do anything to hurt her. So even eating out of my hand, she's pretty nervous about it. She's starting to warm up now, but um, this is kind of the first thing. You can eat out of my hand. I'm not gonna get you. We can be we can be buddies. And um, and then after I can start, you know, petting her and, and uh, giving her some scratches here or there, and then we'll start kind of working with it. But first step is just helping her settle in and letting her know that we're not we're not bad people and we're not going to get her. So our plan with this little Molly is to um, go ahead and start her and train her over the next couple of years and we're going to bring all of you guys along with her journey and in her training and um, our, our plan for right now is we are going to resell her um, once she's started under saddle and doing really really well. So probably in like three years. <laughs> yeah, so it'll probably be two to three years um, realistically before she's ready to be sold. But in the meantime, we're going to show you our process and, and how we start one. Um, she's just a baby right now, and so it'll be a while before we even start riding her just because she's physically not big enough or old enough. Um, but we can start on a bunch of groundwork and, and you know, get her gen old in the meantime. And our next video, we're actually going to uh, have you guys vote on a name for her because right now she has no name. I don't know what they have a name for her, but if they did, they didn't tell us what it was. And uh, so I think we'll come up with a few ideas and have you guys take a vote on which ones you like best. Um, we might have it open to just if you have a suggestion. Right now, we're thinking maybe some sort of um, like mountain wilderness maybe native kind of name since she is an Appaloosa mule um, but yeah so we'll, we're gonna pick a few options and then let you guys decide on what her finalized name is gonna be